Hi guys, it's Azim again from RedScore.com. In the previous video tutorial, we created a controller for our bookstore application. Now in this video, I will show you how to map your routes to your controller methods. Let's create uh, some routes in our routes file. So let's say when user may get request to when user may get request to slash books then we will show all books to user and uh, to show all books to user we created the index method in our books controller so let's uh, define it here controller dot books controller dot index and if user make get request to books slash and the id of the book which we can specify like this then we will call show method on our books controller and now we need to pass this variable into our controller method so let's write this like this it's integer so we need to type the data type of uh, the variable which is integer when user make get request to books edit slash id then we will load our edit, edit method on books controller and again we will specify the integer when user make post request to slash book slash edit then we will draw update method on our books controller when user make get request to books slash create then we will load our create method on book controller uh, that will show the form for the book to create we are getting little warning here so we need to move it above this id route because if id is top of this uh, create then always id variable is going to trigger because uh, this is the variable and this is the constant now let's say if user make post request to books slash create then we will execute save method on books controller the last route that we are going to define is for deleting single book so let's say for example when user make get request to books slash delete slash id of the book then we are going to execute destroy method on our books controller and we will pass this id parameter to our action method now let's test these routes whether they are working or not okay we got some error here it says destroy is not the man member of books controller let's verify it i think i misspell it yep i misspell it okay perfect now let's try it again now let's uh, visit our routes that we just created 
so our uh, routes for displaying all books is working and for example the route for displaying single book is also working and uh, to creating a new book it's also working and for example to edit one book it's also working and uh, for deleting book the route is also working so i hope you guys enjoy this video in the next video we will implement all of these uh, methods of our books controller so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoy this video in the next video we will uh, start writing our model so that uh, we can actually create update and delete all of those books for our application